Um, okay, so to get an uh, YouTube API and the API key, uh, you should head to console.developers.google.com and they will be asked you to get login. So if you don't have account, create it and just get login inside the uh, console.developer.com that google.com and just you will be having uh, you will be head to the dashboard now just click on the unable api and services once you uh, do that just search for youtube uh, youtube data api version 3 as i have shown you as i have written in the url we are using v3 so just open it and they will be uh, uh, I'm, I'm already using it so uh, you will be getting an, an enable button over there so just enable it once you do that I'll just show you I'm just gonna disable that now and okay now I'll just uh, enable it right over here once you enable that uh, just go in the credentials and you're gonna get the app one something like that and this is your key so what you need to do is just copy this key open up your uh, visual studio code and paste it inside the google token right away okay now uh, how to get the channel id uh, let's say for an example i have opened this channel the name is t-series now you will find the name right over here t-series and just right click on that and uh, copy link address now and just paste it anywhere wherever you want and you will get after the channel that is the channel id so just copy and paste the channel id right in the visual studio code okay right over here that's great okay now we got the channel id and the google token now uh, let's go ahead and check uh, we like what we have done over here is we have just console.log this dot post so we are just consoling all the data we're just logging on the console all the data which we're going to retrieve from the um, this particular channel now like what mistake I did over here is um, I have cha I have choose the channel uh, for the music and I'm searching for the ion 2 so it's like it's not possible that music channel gonna uh, load the video for Ionic 2 so I'm just, I'm just going to change uh, the search query to music okay um, okay let's check whether we are getting the uh, array of five videos or not uh, so in the Google Chrome um, okay no we are not getting we're getting an empty array so uh, let's go ahead and fix that what's the problem is okay now uh, channel ID um, okay what's the problem uh, oh yeah okay uh, we should provide the string right over here we should provide the data type uh, before declaring the variables I'm sorry for that okay same for all the variables which we are using because those variables are used in the URL so we should specify the string uh, as a data type okay um, okay mm, yeah that should be equals to okay search for the results is only two and I want to uh, I want to make it clear that uh, I'm using my own channel ID right over here and again I'm using that particular keyword for what I'm uploading the videos if you're using uh, some uh, like music channel ID then your search query should be equals to that so it could search the uh, required region and you can get the keyword the search engine can get the keyword for that particular channel and can retrieve the data on base of that okay so uh, uh, okay see here we are getting the five videos and we're getting the array of five videos which uh, which which are having the ID and snippet uh, as you can see over here what we have done right over here is uh, we need ID and snippet of channel ID equals to channel ID query equals to ionic 2 uh, type equals to video and order by date 
and max result should be 5 and the key which we are which we got from the uh, Google developer console account okay so uh, here we can uh, we are successfully retrieving the data from uh, the YouTube and see here we are getting the channel ID right over here uh, channel title that is training codes has been uh, description uh, everything is generated over here uh, published at this this is this thumbnails I'm getting the thumbnails right over here default high medium everything is getting from the YouTube now what we have to do we have to take those data from here and we have to put all those data on the front end into the HTML file so we're gonna work with the HTML file right in the next video so I'll meet you in the next video